An inmate uprising and hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage at the juvenile detention center. Tonight, we're getting our first look at this month's riot from body camera footage. Channel 3's Dorsina Drakeford gives us the inside look. Hi, Dorsina. Hi, Sarah. Those kids, when you look at the video, they seem to enjoy being in control. We'll show you in just a second. Now, the first responders were outnumbered. So in the body camera footage, you'll see Cuyahoga County Sheriff deputies, then the SWAT team response as they took back that control. It seemed like the kids were putting on a show for the responding sheriff deputies, breaking windows. They were going to work on that window for a while. Tearing off signs, pure destruction by teenagers in a juvenile detention. If we take this little one and that other guy without the shirt, he, uh, those are the two ones that are riling everybody up. Initially, when deputies responded to the incident, there weren't enough of them to keep the situation under control. So they watched as the center was torn apart, flipped upside down. Just record it all. But when SWAT showed up, you can see they went to work, sawing a hole in the glass, ultimately to communicate with the kids. If you make any aggressive maneuver, you will be hit with an impact munition. There wasn't much talking after that, just orders given by authorities. Lay down on your bellies, put your hands behind your heads. Before they moved in. On your belly! Guys, there's a mattress. Man, your belly! Looks like two of those great chairs, three of those great chairs here. There's something blue right here blocking the door. 2107, entry into the ER room. One by one, you can see them take out the kids suspected of causing $200,000 worth of damage, but some of them still put up a fight. <laughs> And the one who they believe kept hyping up the others Ringleaders coming out. Ringleader. was one of the last to be taken into custody. Now, six teenagers ended up being charged for the incident. A couple of them tried to escape and one even tried to stab a guard with glass. Only two people were hurt during that riot. Sarah. All right, Dorsina Drakeford, thanks.